Welcome to another episode of Inside the Crosshairs. I'm Jay. And I'm Seth. And we're back at you again with another video. On today's episode, we're going to be covering shotgun. And the shotgun of choice is going to be the Keltec KS7. That's right. We're going bullpup, baby. We're going bullpup. Um, this one right here uh, is very interesting to shoot, uh, to say the <laughs> least. Uh, and interesting to look at. And it's, interesting to look at. It looked like something out of an action movie or something. I was like thinking that. Um, Aliens. Or video, yeah. 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 Or Halo or something like Yeah, I mean, she's something to look at. Um, but I really enjoy shooting her, and, and um, we're going to get into it a little bit. So first things first, um, this thing kicks like a damn mule. I mean, it, <laughs> it really kicks extremely hard, like bruising, uh, bruising you. So... I strongly recommend that you get a limb saver. I'm actually going to do a limb saver, and I'm going to do a uh, muzzle break. Uh, when I was younger, I was mm -hmm. against the limb savers because mm -hmm. you know made you look weak. Or whatever. yeah, now, I put them on all my shotguns. Now. Yeah, no, I ain't yeah. ashamed. We get older now, but yeah, I mean, well, you think about it, you know the. The shell goes in here, you know, the chambers is right here. You can see the firing pin from right in there. Uh, you guys can't see that, but the, the, everything is happening right here. Your chamber, your extractor, ejector, everything's happening and going up. So that shotgun shell and that force and that pressure is happening right here into your shoulder. <laughs> so uh, it is a kicker. So I'm going to do the limb saver and I'm going to do a muzzle break on it. I highly recommend that. You'll see if you get one exactly what I'm talking about. It kicks very hard. I mean, I was sore after shooting like just a small box of like five shells at the range. <laughs> it, it kicks. So, I mean, but... Uh, I love the ones that you can feel though. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. That's the fun part about it, but I'm still going to get a, a limb saver and a muzzle break. But uh, My bird guns, I want as soft as I can shoot them. But, yeah, you me know, too. Home defense, are you probably only going to need a few rounds. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, scary. Yeah, I mean, you know, the universal sign of get out is... You roger that. You know, you, yeah, that means limbs is coming off. They call that a brown note. That's right. So, um, yeah. But anyway, man, uh, six plus one capacity. You can squeeze 7.1. I mean, seven plus one in there, uh, depending on the size of rounds you, uh, you're you using. Two and three quarter. Two and three quarter three versus, inch. yeah, three inch or two and a quarter. Yeah, so all that stuff. Um, she comes in with an 18 and a half inch barrel. Um, the overall length is 26, I think, point one inches. Um, so that's that's very interesting, but you, but you get that in a very compact package to really use for, in my opinion, and what I use for home defense, you know, to have a shotgun, not having the barrel, you know, coming around a corner. You well, know, that's the beauty the of the bullpups is yeah. you just shorten that length of that gun up right. so much and you don't have to go into the short barrels yes. or any NFA yeah. affiliations. So. Yeah, I mean, so I love having a shotgun with that compact package. Uh, right there and you can also up that you probably can squeeze up to like 13 14 rounds with the uh, mini shells Yeah uh, from a yeah. so uh, they accept uh, Mini shells as well, and that's one of the things I'm gonna look at too, especially for home defense. I don't want to Tear up all my house you know, um, <laughs> I don't like doing sheetrock. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't either uh, But other than that uh, guys comes with the, the little nifty uh, Carry guard here. I love the look of it. I won't take it off. You can take the uh, hand guard off and put the, or the handrail off and put a Picatinny rail up here so you can put uh, your red dot sights or iron sights or whatever type of sighting system you want. Um, also comes with M-lock rails here on the pump action right up in here and on the um, carry handle as well so you can mount flashlights. Or and especially for a home defense gun, yeah. I, would, I would want that Picatinny there so mm -hmm. that I can uh, mount a flashlight on yeah. it. Uh, you don't really need a laser. A lot of people want one, especially if it's dark. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just pop that laser on and put them right where you want them to go. But yeah. uh, that's a really big plus having that M lock there because oh, yeah. it just opens up your uh, your options yeah. phenomenally. And you don't see that on a lot of the shotguns. No, you don't. You know, you got to buy a tactical uh, model and pay some money to get. You know. Uh, yeah, you can spend you know, a few hundred dollars just for the kit to yeah. pack out your mm -hmm. uh, model 500s and different yeah. ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. You know, especially when shooting a shotgun, that's that's a very powerful weapon. Uh, you typically in home defense situation in dark, you you really want to see who who that is <laughs> before you squeeze that trigger because that that might not end well. So uh, that's that's 
great uh, that they put the that they thought to put the M-lock rails up there. But uh, yeah, man, um, got a big old green triangular uh, fiber optic sight up there that um, really helps um, uh, in the daytime. But at night, I mean, it's pitch black, so that's another reason why you know some guys may want to take the carry handle off and. Well, and with a flashlight on it, it's but with a flashlight, it'll pick it up, right? And the thing that I really do love about it is this this tall Mm -hmm. rail here that just puts it right there at your eye level. So a lot of shotguns, you're really ducking your head down to get into Mm -hmm. your sights. Well, uh, I really like the the side axis on that one. Yeah, the overall length of pull too is uh, 13 uh, inches, so that's also great. I mean, because I'm a tall guy, so I mean, it gives me just enough without you know. You can see some of the guys with the AR-15 pistols, they get the seven and a half inches and we're kind of tall, and we're kind of, you know, getting yeah. out of there. <laughs> you know, so I, I really like it, uh, the the length, you know, feels perfect for me being six foot three. You know, it, it makes a, a big difference. So. It's, it's really nice in my shorter arms as mm-hmm. well. You know, it's yeah. just, just right there. Yep. Yep. Very comfortable, mm-hmm. fits in the shoulders, uh, yep. whether you're tall like Jay or short like me, it, it just really comfortable there. Mm-hmm. I like her a lot. So yeah, so those ergonomics are great. Uh, so some of the um, other things I see people loving and I love as well. Uh, well, other thing is the trigger. You know, uh, man, I don't know if I can get that up there on a shotgun. Of course, we're gonna get y'all on the range and get you close up. But I mean, if you look here, that's your take up. I mean, it's a little creep, but I mean, it breaks really good. It's not really that bad for a shotgun. I mean. Um, Keltex have come a long way. They have. Uh, they I like have. I like a lot of their triggers now and a lot of their firearms. Yes, sir. Let me see if it'll reset. Oh, reset on the shotgun. <laughs> yeah. So she reset. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, if I can get it. Uh, on this. Oh God. Let's see. Come on, baby. Act right for me. See if we can get it in there a little bit. What you guys can see. I don't know if I cycled it all the way. That's, come on. That helps. Well, that's another thing. There we go. And then right there. So that's another thing that, um, so uh, I'll tell you what, we'll move on to the to the strikes against it. Uh, <laughs> I've seen people um, talk online, and they make a, a kit. Like, I know M. Carbo makes a kit. Um, it kicks so hard, and uh, the polymer here is very slippery. They, there is, There are serrations there uh, on the pump action and on the grip, however, very slippery. And I know one of the things people were worried about was being that the hand go, the, the grip here, uh, the pump, is real close to the barrel. And that's why they came here and gave this kind of stop here, because it, I, people's hands really, it really kicks you when you, yeah. when you, and it, your hands coming off there, worry about them flying off. To, that was one of the first yeah. things I noticed with it is yeah. that that extra ridge there. That mm-hmm. it, as long as you're gripping it, it's impossible to get yeah. your hand past there. Yeah. Um, so that was a really smart move by Keltec. Um, I know a lot of people still complain about this, but they do have kits out there, uh, little grip tape kits that go right on yeah. there and for the grip. Um, Again, we've talked about the limb saver. Please get that because this does all it can. It's not a bad pad at all. It, it definitely helps. It helps, but it's not going to save you. Um, they also make some some uh, little uh, foam pads, cushion pads to lay over here because this is kind of cold. But I'm old school. I'm sure you are too. That doesn't really yeah. bother me. But they do make foam pads to soften that up so you don't have the metal um, up against your um, cheek all the time, banging you in the cheek and just all cold. So... Um, yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for it. Um, we're going to uh, field strip and everything uh, on the range and show you guys some more content on it. Um, I'll run through a couple more things. You know, you do have the little lever here to for your pump action. It's just that simple. You just push down on that. It's pretty straightforward, and there's a safety fire switch right here on the side, and that's pretty much it. It's, it's and not much to it. Even my short, stubby little fingers can reach all of it on yeah. there, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it, everything is uh, well-placed and uh, well-thought-out and well-designed, so kudos to you, Caltech. Good job. They keep going the way they're going. They're yeah. going to be my favorite ones out there. They're yes, making sir. a lot of really cool stuff. Oh yeah. Keep up the good work, guys. Yes, sir. Well, that's all for today, guys. We thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like uh, button the, uh, subscribe yeah. notification bell yes sir. leave us your comments uh, anything we missed anything else you want to see give us some ideas for some new videos 
Uh, we want all your feedback as much as we can. We want to be the best channel we can be. Until then, love you guys. Be safe. See you next time.